before we start make sure you have minecraft 1.21 and you have windows 10 or 11 and discord so first search up fabric mc on your browser and then make sure you click on fabricmc.net nothing less or nothing else once you're here just click on download and then download for windows and then yeah i'll download for me i hit save there already have it downloaded so there you go open up a file explorer window and then go to downloads or where your downloads are stored and then just double click on this fabric installer it's an exe file it, got, it launches like this and then what you need to do is select minecraft version as 1.20.1 .1 because that that's what dark and storm supports loader version i always select the latest with that create profile make sure that's checked and just click install so there you go fabric successfully installed there you go many mods also require you to put fabric api into the mods folder so just click on this teeny tiny link right here and it'll put you to chris forge so you need to download this as well so hit on download right here and then go to 1.20.1 .1. all mod loaders fabric and then download there you go very easy and then yeah it'll download like that Next, go to ModRinth. Just type in ModRinth on your browser and make sure you go to ModRinth.com right here. Go to Discover Content, go to Mods. Here, just search up the Mods Dark and Storm team wants us to use with Dark and Storm. We already know Sodium is one of them. So just click on Sodium and then go to Download and then select Game Version 1.21. Platform is Fabric and just hit Download right here. And then after that, you can go to discover content once again. Mods, search up, sodium extra, that's also needed. And it's the same procedure to be honest, okay? So once it loads, go to download right here. And here are the mods that you need, sodium, once again, I mentioned it. And sodium extra, iris shaders, and then no fog. So just download all of them, the whole mod rent, and then you'll be good. Again, all links will be in the description down below if you're good enough to find the links. So, moving on to the main mod itself, just go to the description and find Ender's Discord server. And there you go, you will be sent here if you have Discord, okay? So right here on Ender's Discord, go to mod download under the Dark and Storm category right here. And then you'll find if you scroll down, You'll find the mod release okay right here just download ultimate sword which is dark and storm i don't know if this will change in the future but this is dark and storm right here just click on download continue to download and it'll download this is this doesn't have a virus guys it's just this cord warning you now once it's downloaded just go to your file explorer locate dark and storm and locate the other add-ons that we have installed right here okay like iris sodium sodium extra and no fog now open up your minecraft launcher i think you already know how to open up minecraft launcher right here you see minecraft launcher if you play minecraft every time then or if, if you if you just downloaded it i think you already know how to open it right <laughs> so here you'll see that there's a new profile which is fabric loader that's what the pro create profile thingy earlier in the fabric installer did it made a new profile okay so just go to installations and go to this fabric loader go to open open installations folder and then right here if you're on windows 11 you can open up a new tab on your file explorer go to downloads and then go back to this main or to like this first tab right here with that, that minecraft folder go to mods go to downloads once again select fabric api so to make sure just select all the mods that we've downloaded and then just hold down on them and then drag them right here to the mods folder boom and you have moved them from here to there or to here once that is done now what you can do is just click play right here on the fabric loader but you can also do uh, what you can also also do is with play just go to fabric loader right here and then just select the profile that you want so there you go and then hit on play and then i understand the risk yes this is not 
a regular Minecraft install. But there you go, just click on start, okay, accept, and then boom, you're ready to go. It's just downloading Minecraft and stuff like that, and then it'll launch soon. And what you can do is go to single player right here. We'll create a new world, you know, and then you'll be having the stuff if you go to creative inventory. Go to combat and then you'll have the stuff from Dark and Storm right here with the Wither Blaster. Not only that, we can also summon the Ultimate Sword Wither Storm, everyone. So there you go. Boom. So here is the Wither Storm, which we could actually shoot with the Wither Blaster. That's that's very nice. But first, let's go to the Discord server once again. So here's how you change phases right here. Just select this command right here. And then what you can do is change the phases from 0 to 5.5. So here's the sequence. So you can change it from 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 0 to 0 0.6 for command phases until 3.9. Okay. And then after that, you can just change it from or to phase 4, 4.3, 4.5, and so on. So let's go. Check it out. There's the wither storm at the bottom. And what we can do, 0.2. There we go. It, it changed it, I think. I saw it glitch out a little bit. And then after that, you can do phase 4. Boom. Just don't do entity data or data modify uh, commands a lot. Because if you do, the game will crash sometimes. And then it'll, it'll lag the game. So, yeah. Just be careful with that, okay? But that's how you change phases right there. Also, make sure if you're wanting the best experience, just go to the settings, go to options, go to quality. And then make sure NED distance is like at 100 to, to, 100 to 150. So it can actually render uh, far away, okay? The, the, the distant rendering, okay? What's it's called, right? And by the way, we have the music, right? If you don't want that, go to options and then go to music and then just turn it down like that if you don't want the music. But, you know, the music is kind of nice, so I I'd rather leave it at like this, you know. Next up, you need to exit the game, by the way. And then go launch Minecraft Launcher once again. And then go to settings right here. And then make sure keep the launcher open while games are running. So you can actually still access Minecraft Launcher while Minecraft is running. So after that, hit on play and it'll launch Minecraft, okay? So there you go, Minecraft has launched, and as you can see, Minecraft launcher is still intact. So make sure to go to installations once again, go to fabric loader, and open installations folder. Then go into the config file, right? Here, if we go to ultimate sword, right click on it, open, notepad, and then right here, you can, you can change these zeros right here. So right here it says if you change the zero of low res models to one, you will get a massive FPS boost but models are unfinished so if you want massive fps boosts just go and change this zero to one for low res models right here okay and then here as you can see if you change the zero to debris or zero of debris to one this will remove debris and you will get a slight fps boost so if you also want that set debris to one pov optimization right here if you want to set it to one Wither Storm will not render if you're not looking at it, but the beams will render. So only the beams will render and it creates a massive performance boost when you're near the Wither Storm. So if you want that as well, just go and set it to 1. And then what you can do is, let's say if you're in-game, right? Let's say if you're in-game right here. So it looks normal, right? It looks normal for now at least. So once you actually save, once you actually save this, just click on file and then save it will save it right it didn't do anything but if you press f3 on your keyboard and then t look uh, what will happen yep it is now that go to your minecraft launcher right here go to open installations folder and then go to shader packs and then click on this plus right here Go to downloads and then drag and drop so there's vibrant shaders here on this tab. And then there you go, you've installed a shader pack. So right here, if we go to, if we press O on our keyboard, it'll open up Iris shaders menu. And then what you can do is already enabled. If this ain't enabled, make sure it's enabled. And then just click on the shaders you want and hit on apply. It'll automatically toggle it on for you. 
I'm not sure how. Oh, it actually looks kind of cool. It depends. Sh the shaders actually alter how the tractor beams look. So it just depends on what shader pack you're using. I believe I think super duper vanilla shaders work better with this Dark and Storm mod. But if you enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you out, make sure you guys give it a like subscribe and also share this video to other people that are wanting to download the dark and storm 3.0 update also send a super thanks you mean a lot it'll mean a lot because you know i can so i can make more tutorials like this one but i hope you guys stay safe all praises to the most high yeah you'll see a video right here at the end screen click on it if you want to watch more from me